Hi friends, welcome to Mechanical Explosions. Now in this part we are going to see about the effect of turbulence in a boundary layer. So, hope so you all understand what is effect, what is turbulence in this boundary layer because turbulence in the sense it is a agitation. That is not in a stable position. It is depends upon the moment in this concept. So, first we are going to see this what is, what does the turbulence makes effect in this boundary layer. So first you have to consider a surface in which you are taking, you are going with first a laminar boundary layer only. So already know this is a view of this laminar type boundary layer and the laminar boundary layer looks like this. This is up to Yn. So in this laminar boundary layer the velocity profile looks like this only and in this the profile can be calculated numerically you have you can say solve these values and you can be calculating this numerically so hence this is termed to be the blessings profile so leave this concept this is simply just solving numerically this is termed to be first the laminar boundary layer you take this this and this as an account so when the boundary layer becomes turbulent this laminar boundary layer is becoming turbulent so what happens when it becomes turbulent is the sense the rate of momentum transfer from the free streams greatly increases. You already I said I will repeat again that is consider this is a boundary layer in which this is going. So the area of separation takes place here. Simply they are telling because this free stream will be flowing like this. If you want clearly you can see in my previous videos also that will be explained what is boundary layer clearly. So this in this sense. The momentum transfer in this free stream is made to be increased. So the free stream loses the momentum quickly. That is when you make the momentum transfers increase in this, the momentum transfer will lose quickly and in this the momentum transfer loses quickly. The boundary layer will automatically grow larger. So the boundary layer will automatically grow larger larger and the boundary layer thickness here it is defined as del x. Simply they are take, taking this as del x because the turbulent effect on this laminar causes the boundary layer to grow larger. This is the main cause of this turbulent in this laminar surface makes the boundary layer large. This is the overall output consequence for this laminar boundary layer in which the effect on laminar boundary layer. Now we are going to see about what does this turbulence cause going to cause in a turbulent boundary layer. That is, we are already seen that laminar boundary layer. Now coming to the case of turbulent, you can turbulent boundary layer. Now consider this a surface in which turbulent will be like this. Yeah, it will be very steep. So this is termed to be the turbulent boundary layer. So you can from this you can see the difference between this laminar and this turbulent. Laminar will be like this and turbulent will be like this. This area will be very steep. So this is termed to be turbulent. This is termed to be laminar. So laminar in this turbulent boundary layer, the velocity gradient is very steep. This velocity is very steep. This is a main point at this wall. So what this means, if it is steep, the shear stress will be large. Shear stress will be large. This is not our concept. Simply you should, for your knowledge, if it is velocity is, is steep here, automatically shear stress will be large. That is enough. So what we are going to see in this region, the flow is laminar, that is the laminar sublayer. It will be laminar sublayer. Because very thin region right next to wall. This is very thin region next to this wall. Next to this wall, this is termed to be very thin region. So we are climbing this as a laminar sublayer. So apart from this, we are going to see our concept. What is our concept is in increasing the growth rate of boundary layer. The gro growth rate of boundary layer is being increasing. So this increase the momentum transfer as a very important. What is what is the meaning is in this part is that. If you increase the growth of boundary layer, the increase in the momentum transfer will make a result. So consider this as a 
this is an object in which the boundary layer goes like this and which the frame streams are going like this so what they are telling if the boundary layer is being increased the momentum transfer in this free stream should be increased because the momentum transfer in this free stream only increases the boundary layer otherwise the boundary layer won't increase this momentum this is termed to be the turbulence the turbulence makes the momentum of free stream to be increased and this consequently that is as a result the boundary layer will be increasing here so if you want to understand this video clearly only watching this video is not enough i will give a video that is what is boundary layer in this description link you can see that video because what we have discussed in that video is that the inside boundary layer is termed to be reversible because the boundary layer will be what i am said that video i will be explaining here it will be a boundary layer will be like this and here will be a favorable pressure gradient and the opposite side is termed to be the adverse pressure gradient favorable pressure gradient and adverse pressure gradient because why this adverse pressure gradient has a reversible effect this is the main concept that will be like this so why this has an reversible effect because it is very strong only strong adverse pressure gradient causes the reverse flow so this both flow are collide and there will be a separation of boundary layer this video if you want clearly watch in my description link that is separation of boundary layer so this is the main concept using in here because we said that this boundary layer is being increased by the momentum transfer in the free stream that is one point and here the second point is that the main thing is that this boundary layer is being resisted by this strong adverse pressure gradient because it makes the separation it makes the boundary layer to separate but here it makes the boundary layer to increase but here it makes the boundary layer to separate so this one and two are the big competition this turbulence and this strong adverse pressure gradient are the big competition when this makes the boundary layer to increase this makes the boundary layer to separate entirely separate what will so this is the main concept the effect of turbulence in boundary layer so in this we are going to see what will happen the velocity profile in this boundary layer what would be the main key when this two comes into role so this is the part that is when this two comes into the role the key point is that flow reversible will takes place in this region because due to the strong adverse pressure gradient there will be the key point is the sense there will be a flow reversible flow reversible takes place in this region when there is a strong adverse pressure gradient so in this situation the main thing is that i already said there is a competition between these two parts that is momentum diffusing from the free streams that will be resist the reversible so this will resist this this momentum transfer from this free stream will resist the strong adverse pressure gradient so uh, the strong adverse pressure gradient which increases the flow reversible and the key point is that the turbulent boundary layer greatly increases so the momentum from the free stream automatically when you are comparing this one and two that is turbulent and strong adverse pressure gradient this turbulent will make momentum diffusing from free stream increases so automatically the boundary layer increases and this cause resistance to strong adverse pressure gradient that is this makes the reversible flow so turbulence resist the reversible flow through the boundary layer so this reversible flow will cause the separation in boundary layer when the boundary layer is being reversely flowing there will cause a separation point so the boundary level will be separated so in order to avoid or resist that separation this turbulence is the major part that is the momentum transfer in this free stream makes increases only due to the turbulence so this turbulence makes the 
resistance to the reversible flow so from this point you can note one, one thing so when the flow is termed to be when the reversible flow is termed to be resisted there is the reversible flow is termed to be resisted what will be happen the main thing is that the main question mark comes here what will be happen here is so what will be happening here the main question mark for which the turbulence and the strong adverse pressure gradient this will be resisting this so the turbulence means here this is reversible flow so when the flow is reversible flow is reduced so you consider a plane simply consider this as a so consider this as a plane in which the forward will be thrust and the reversible so the downward will be weight and the upward will be the lift this is the main thing in this plane so what will be the opposing force that is drag so when the fl reversible flow is being resisted this is the case yeah this is the case in which the reversible flow is resisted then what will happen the turbulent boundary layer reduces the drag on this body then the drag is being reduced only because of this effect of turbulence in the in the boundary layer so this turbulence effect only reduces the drag in the boundary layer so we have seen about the laminar boundary layer and its consequence and also we discussed the turbulent boundary layer that is velocity profile shear stress this all not our concept we we discussed about the flow rate that is the momentum transfer of free stream momentum transfer takes place in the free stream that is the turbulence what the turbulence makes the effect in the boundary layer it resists the strong adverse pressure gradient when it resists the strong adverse pressure gradient the reversible flow is been resist resisted according to this reversible flow when this when this is resist if you are coming with the application you can see when the the drag is the opposing and the reversible flow when this is been resisted the turbulence in the boundary layer can reduce the drag in the body this is a very good thing only because the opposing force is been reduced there will be a great thrust only so this is the main effect of turbulence in the boundary layer if you like this video give a thumbs up or if you like if you not like this video you can dislike our video and if you want to share this video you can share with your friends if you like our channel you can subscribe if you have any queries regarding this effect of turbulence in a boundary layer if you can't under the, understand a single point also you can leave it in the comments we'll be clearly explaining or clearly telling in text through text in a, what is the problem here so if you want any more videos like this you can comment in my comment below this video so if you want to know what is the boundary layer separation see in this description link there will be a what is the thing that is the boundary layer separation will be available there so thank you thanks for watching see you in next coming lessons